What's up, Angel? Hey, Andrew. What's up? We are back. We're back. So where are we? Summer. The summer has begun. We took a little siesta. Beautiful day. So now we're back in full force. So we're here on Geneva on the Lake uh, at Mary's Kitchen with the Mary's Kitchen Food Truck. Mary's Urban Kitchen. Mary's Urban, Urban Kitchen, kitchen food, food Truck. truck. <laughs> See, there's always an extra in there. And we're with John Krause, and you're the owner and the inventor. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's like, well, I don't, <laughs> was the wife involved in it? Um, not so much, but it took a lot of research and development. Awesome. So we're here talking with John today about the food truck. And let me tell you, I've heard all great things about the food truck. And it is clean. It's super clean. It's like, like brand new, right? Yes, like, it's brand new. Like right off the lot. Yes. So this is your first year. Yes. Okay, first year. And so for folks who might not know what a food truck is, which if you don't know what a food truck is, the bubble, you need to Wake pop up. it and like come on out. <laughs> uh, so tell us what a food truck is. Food truck pretty much just takes every takes food out to people that don't necessarily get out to restaurants very much on the go. So it's, it comes to you instead. Yes. And so it's a mobile restaurant. It's a mobile restaurant. Now, what is interesting? So before we started recording, you and I were kind of like just chitty chatty, and you had made a really good point. Not knocking any other food trucks, which I love. You were very, you know, very supportive of everyone. You had said, though, that your food truck's a little different than some of the other food trucks in the area. And why is that? Because we don't pigeonhole somebody into uh, an Italian or a Chinese or a Mexican food truck. We pretty much um, we're a custom food truck. We can do pretty much anything out there um, for catering. We don't have to be just uh, one menu and that's it. We can do uh, mess looks. You do everything, everything. everything. in here. So what do you think is like, since you've been already out and about doing this now for the, I would say the spring time, right. what do you think is like your number one dish that people really like attract to and love? The meatloaf melt with bacon jam. Ooh, the meatloaf meat melt. Wait, hold on. Say that one more time. <laughs> meatloaf meat melt with meat bacon, bacon jam. Bacon jam. With bacon and jam. Wow. Bacon jam. Bacon jam. Like, like, like bacon infused jam. Right? It, do you do you yeah. do that? Do you make that yourself? Yes. So it's Sweet. everything on the truck, homemade, like yes. from scratch. Yes. Wow. Awesome. Oh, okay. Okay. So what's so the you, other one? Well, you have fryers too, right? So uh, you can do like a multitude of things. So you have like I'm assuming you have like a flat top. Right. You cook up some burgers, do some sandwiches. You can do anything fried, yeah, anything and then fried. what else? Like you, I mean, you can do so much then. I mean, just we, that alone, burgers. We have uh, what they call poutine, which is a Canadian dish, which is fresh cut fries with uh, um, cheese curds and then a beef gravy on top of it. Um, people love that as well. We do fried Brussels sprouts with a hot dog. Wow. Love, love um, fried Brussels sprouts. They're very hot right now. Yeah. Very hot. So, very good. So you can do very, so it's a lot of that home hearty kind of cooked right. stuff, like homemade things like what, with a with a nice flavor and a nice mix like bacon jam. I mean, what is, I can't even wait. Like my whole, like my whole body like wants to continue to like talk to you and my mind's like working up questions, but my body's like, so what are we eating this? What are we eating this? Okay, so how does one uh, have you at a, at their, like, what do you all do? Do you just go to like just here or how, where do you go? We go anywhere that somebody would like us, anywhere from uh, ACMC's Health and Wellness Plaza to open houses to, uh, Factories. We just did Worthington Cylinders a couple about a month ago, and we fed all three shifts. So, so you did it like an event, like they called you and said, "Hey, you know, we'd like to give back to our employees," type of thing. Right. Okay. Okay. So, if you're an uh, employer now, how far will you? How far will you go? Will you stay only in Ashtabula County? Will you go into Lake County? Will you go into Erie County and PA? Like, where where do you stop your food deliveries? We were just gonna think. Asheville County and get back to our area, um, but we've had to venture, not had, but we've been had asked to go out to yeah. uh, Lake County. We've even been asked to go out to Erie. Um, it just all depends with fuel prices right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's a big factor on how far we'll go at this uh, moment right now. We're just getting our feet wet with the trucks. So, so I kind of want to tie it in too. So Mary's Kitchen, been at Geneva on the Lake since, since 1946. So you guys have really been a staple forever. Correct. So really you're just taking your show on the road. Correct. Okay. Correct. Awesome. We, we I love how you just said that. Show on the show road. Show on the road. We had a lot of 
you know, uh, equity in the name and everything. Yeah. And we it thought, sells like, itself. Yeah, you already, we were we like, don't have to explain who you are. Yeah. We were like, well, should we change the name? Should we do something different? And we're like, no, because people love this place. People know it. So why not take it out on the road? Absolutely. And people look good food, so. so how, if I wanted to book you or see if you were available, how do, how does that happen? Do I have to go onto a website? Do I call you? Do I come over here, knock on the door? How does one you get could, you on site? Every which uh, one that you were just talking about, they can call me on my cell phone. They could uh, do our email by uh, Mary's, uh, Mary's Kitchen, G-O-T-L at yahoo.com. Or you could call up here at 466-8606 or call me on my cell at 440-645-9467. And visit us on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, I was just about to say. So you have uh, Facebook and an Instagram. So make sure you follow those sites, like all, like we always say. The only problem is that I have is we go to all these food places and I start following all you guys, and then I'm like just salivating every time I go on Facebook. It's a problem. It's a problem for me. Is it a problem? It's a problem because I'm like. Not, Look at this. Look I mean, what making but right I have now. to be honest, like when I reached out to you, you, your response time was phenomenal. So once you do that, you know, he's going to respond or someone on your team's going to respond. So uh, that's always nice because sometimes we reach out to a lot of businesses. Like and, us. Sometimes people reach out to us and I'm like, Angel, get that. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. You know, it takes me a day or two, but he was, he was actually much faster. I could hire him for us. But uh, so besides, so you do location site and then you can go to open houses. You can, if you're an employer in the county, you can hire you for the data. I, I love the open house thing. Like uh, so many people have to like, you know, you rent a hall and then you got to like lug all this food in. Oh yeah. Forget that. Like it's, it's, they ideal. come to you they and it's like, you. you have a nice day. Yep. You're set. It's set. Or you do have it inside. You go outside. I mean, it's perfect. And now, a lot of times due to the uh, COVID right now, a lot of people feel this is more safe sure. than yeah. having people walk through a buffet line or whatnot with cross contamination. They feel less contact, the better. So having somebody serve it to you off of a food truck is just so much safer. Oh, and, and it makes and sense. It's, and it's fresh. Yeah. Like when you do the buffet, I mean, and I'm not knocking anybody, but you can only keep your food so fresh for so long. And well, having a food hot, truck is like hot, ready. It's okay. how you want it. Yeah. So how long is, are you just like? Through the summer like what are how long do you run for your food truck well we're gonna try our best i mean we're already booked up until uh um august i mean we still have some dates so if anybody wants to get a hold of us but we are quite booked up until august but we're gonna try to run up until december 31st and depending on cold um and snow and everything weather has a big factor on the truck you know okay. so we'll uh, see how that goes but i think december 31st we're gonna pretty okay. much Perfect. Now get ready for the spring. So he said that there's still availability for some of the summer month, which is August, September. Um, so definitely reach out. Make sure that you, if you want to book it for your employees, which I think it's a very nice thing to do. I know I'm going to do it for my staff at State Road. Maybe Andrew can do it for you. Know, maybe not. Or maybe not. <laughs> no. Andrew's so cheap. Like I say, Andrew, and he's like, Don't nope, not even, not even doing, not even but, doing it. But but they can come here. But they can come. Or my employees can. Come. You, yeah. So do you ever do like pop-ups? Cause I know when I follow you guys on your Facebook page, which again, follow on Facebook, um, you do actually have pop-ups. Like you're like, Hey, we're here for the day and anyone can show up at any time and you can. Now the pop-ups, uh, I got to get a little better on the marketing of the pop-ups. Uh, but yeah, we've done a couple and like I said, we're getting our feet wet on them. Yeah. So we'll, we'll be doing more pop-ups, but more private parties. Um, since we've uh, had the truck, have taken, you know, pretty much. See, I've always said, see, I work in the Donoho Center. Like, there's, like, you know, mm -hmm. a, a lot going on. There's a lot of people there. I'm always like, if, if they had something, a food truck there or something, it would just be slammed. Be and that's what I, I mean, because people walk all the time. It's nice outside. So, I'm saying, just a hint. Right. Have it there. So, you're so cheap. But you want, you just want him to come to you. You don't want to supply yeah. anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's but how cheap I, but I'll, but I'll go it's and not. support it. Exactly. <laughs> and now, so we didn't really get to talk, but house pricing. So, with everyone like trying to see, like, you know, sometimes when you get to a food truck, when I've gone downtown Cleveland, they, they are pretty pricey downtown, but you're, you know, it's downtown Cleveland. So, what do you, how do you feel about like your pricing? Is it like for that meatloaf, bacon infused jelly <laughs> sandwich thing that I'm going to try one day? Well, that's, uh, we start that at nine ninety nine, okay, and oh, then nice. that's a la carte, and then you add uh, fresh cut fries for two ninety nine, and then uh, our perch sandwich that's eleven ninety nine because obviously perch is going to be 
be more expensive. Right. Sure. Well, that's still so a great deal. It's one of those where we, uh, you know, it depends on the market. It's where yeah. we're at in the market. The market has a big factor, especially now in today's world. Yeah. So as we go through, we try to, you know, keep. But, and it's about price point too. So I mean, if you're spending more money in gas, the price might be a little bit higher. But I mean. 10 bucks, 12 bucks. I mean, that's, that's lunch. But you get, a, yeah, you get a homemade deal. Yeah, homemade uh, meal. And it's fresh. And I think that's affordable. Like, I I spend a lot of money on drinks and food. <laughs> I'm just saying. So I think that's a great, great price point. Awesome. So one more time for our viewers at home. So how can they reach you if they want to talk to you about booking a private event or if they are a company or they're just like, they love their friends and they just want to have a barbecue with you? How do they reach you? Uh, get a hold of me um, from uh, my cell at 440-645-9467, or they can call the restaurant at 466-8606, or email me at Mary's Kitchen, G-O-T-L, at Yahoo.com. Perfect. Awesome. Uh, like Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. Follow, follow the social follow, media. Follow. And like I said, I messaged him through Facebook, and he got right back to me right away. And then he gave me a cell phone number, which was the worst mistake, because now I'm texting him all the time about, <laughs> right? like, That's when true. can we come? When's the personal stuff? Angel. I am. Yep. I, I'm horrible. Don't ever give me your cell phone. All right. So, but um, real quick, uh, I know that when we were talking, you had a really great story about why you're doing all of this. Like, what, what is your inspiration? And I think that sometimes as I own a business, you just, you do it because you want to, you know, provide health care to the community or, but you actually have a personal story of why right. you started doing all of this. So, I just, I love the story, and I think that everyone would love to hear it, too. Uh, it's all for my son, Stuart. I mean, he has disabilities, and uh, it's his push and his strength and his um, endurance that just pushes me every day to wake up and work as hard as I do with the restaurant and with the food truck, because ultimately, it's his strive to not let anything stop him that makes me push it. That's beautiful. Yeah. beautiful. It's amazing what our kids give us strength to do. Oh, and yeah. I just think that was beautiful. And when they say kids change your life, what do they change your life? They do. Amen. And we are focused <laughs> on the food truck today. However, though, I am going to plug real quick that Mary's uh, Kitchen, Geneva on the Lake, when I was a little girl, we came up here all the time. You guys have invested a lot into the restaurant, done a lot of great changes and upgrades. Uh, it is summertime. You have some great outdoor seating here. Uh, and yeah. so make sure that if you Picking can't tables. get to the food truck, make sure you come in and support John and his family here. Locally owned, family owned, and we love that here in our county. And they do catering. Yeah, we own a catering business as well. See, so if you, don't, All your needs. if you don't know what you're doing, just call John and his they'll team and they'll hook you up. Absolutely. All right, thanks All guys. right, well, come on down here to Nemo on the Lake and get a hold of them.